sampling each other. <laughs> okay, so Billy, how, how did you how did you come to hear Peggy Lee? What 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 inspired you to dig through the albums there and start listening to her? Well, to be honest with you, I don't. I was trying to remember the first time I heard her, and we were actually think, talking about it all day today, trying to figure out when it was. And I think me without me knowing it was probably the lady in the tramp <laughs> where i first heard her um you know because i am basically 11 years old and uh yeah i think i i mean i never even registered that that was her until years and years later but i think that was probably the main the first time um but then of course like fever everybody everybody knows fever you know you can't not know that song um and then i just i don't know there was just something about it that was like you know, got that magic to it. And I would look up videos of her performing and, and just the way that she just, she just stands there very confidently and, and just sings. Like, I feel like there's so much, and it's good that people, you know, want to give it all into singing, but there was something so magical about watching her just plain stand there and just sing. I don't know. It was really magical to me. I watched a video of her recently doing um, Why Don't You Do Right? And she's just she's just playing her feet right there. And she just sings it and it's, I don't know, it's magical. She's She's got an act for that, as we all know. So you, You've talked about um, songs like My Boy as being um, you know, somewhat influenced by what you heard from from Peggy Lee, that in, that in a sense there was, um, whether you knew it or not, you know, a certain amount of kind of vocal training going on, going going on there. And I wonder if you could talk about that a, a, a little bit in terms of your own vocal approach. Yeah, well, um, like Katie was saying, the whole delivery, her her delivery of every word and every phrase and everything, it just it sits so right and it really doesn't matter about how big it is or how small it is or, you know, what she's saying, even though what she's saying is always, you know, amazing. It's like just the delivery of one line can hit you in such a way. And I've um, taken that as, as a huge inspiration for everything that I've created. And my boy I made when I was 13. So let's put that in the past, but you know, there's tons of songs even currently that I'm working on that I'm, I'm every second of the way is just subconsciously or consciously creating something just completely inspired by Peggy Lee and all that, that era of music and that delivery and the magical, I've said magical like 800 times in this sentence, but I, what else am I supposed to say? <laughs> like, it's magical, man. That's all I could say. So, Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I'm also interested to hear that, that she's had some influence on your songwriting. Oh, yeah. Not, not just, the, not, not just the, the, the vocals for the songs, but literally the songwriting. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's like she, I don't know. What I love about her writing is it's very, like, conversational. It's really like a person talking. Yeah. And it's clever, and it's, you know, it's, it's funny, and it's interesting, and it's kind of like... Some of it's like intimidating in a way, like a beautiful way. So for sure, I mean, I cannot, I can't not, you know, give her all the credit for, for inspiring me to create what I create. And, and yeah, she's, come on, it's Peggy Lee. You know, Katie, 